Hey everyone, this is uh, Mad Cow here, Genesis Custom Lightsabers. And uh, in the absence of any Crystal Focus to work on, I've been working on some lightsabers with uh, Master Replicas FX soundboards or Hasbro FX soundboards. This is one I made for a friend of mine who was unable to buy it, so I'm putting it up for sale. It's uh, mostly made from MHS parts that I've customized. Um, I, I machined a whole new joint here, so it's similar to the ones that Tim does, so it's a uh, much more cleaner looking um, rib section into the choke. It's, uh, it's linked and locked in there with a the set screw and that you can tighten because after a lot of dueling with this saber that joint might start to start to wiggle a little bit probably after a year or so. So just some regular maintenance. Stick the Allen key in there and turn it counterclockwise and that would tighten that joint up a lot. Um, I machined the, uh, the emitter a little bit just to get a different flange effect on there, some powder coating with the translucent gold and the and the flat black, and uh, of course the new gear section that Tim's been working on. This is a uh, this is a clamp that I've had around the shop for a long time with a lot of really cool grooves and cuts in there. So I I uh, put it in there with a uh, with a brass underlay, and uh, so that's a little bit weathered, but it uh, really shows through kind of nice and works well with the translucent gold. Of course, it's got a cone knob kill key, so it's set up in the same way that I set up my crystal focus savers. Um, there's no boot sound, but um, the kill key actually disconnects the battery entirely from the electronics. So turning the saber on doesn't do anything. Um, pull the kill key out. The saber fires up. It's uh, weathered, really solid and, and well built. Um, it uh, it's very doable. St switch is really sturdy, um, and it uh, it's got a rumble motor. That's uh, it's really mounted well onto the the framework of the MHS part, so you can really feel it vibrate when you turn it on. Of course, it's got all the MHS or the uh, Master Replicas Hasbro sounds, swings, flashes. Um, got a green LED in there. I'll show you what it looks like with the blade. Because it's MHS parts, it fits any standard uh, one-inch blade. There's a tension screw here that you can be removed and turn into a, a, a um, Allen key so that you can get a really secure secure dueling blade in there. So it's a uh, green, what was this, a Rebel? This is a green Rebel LED. Um, so it's a really nice shade of green, really bright 3 watt LED. Um, the whole Sabre actually is run off one single 18650 size lithium ion uh, rechargeable cell that's protected so when the battery runs down on the saber it just cuts it off for safety purposes so um, if, you're, if you're not keeping your saber charged and you're dueling it might just shut off on you there's no low battery indicator or anything like that um, but because it's a rechargeable lithium ion cell you can use the recharging uh, components and, and parts that uh, Tim sells at the custom saber shop 2.1 millimeter um, recharge port you keep it charged up it'll work great duel with it um, it's awesome it'll last you a long time um, and it, like I said, the cell is protected from overcharging and will cut off when the when it reaches its low battery threshold. So this one you'll find it for sale on uh, FX Sabers Forum, and if nobody takes it, I'll probably put it up on uh, on eBay. So uh, hope you like it.